October 19th. And when I was working in the post office, I worked on 70th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. That's the Lenox Hill area of Manhattan. And on 77th Street, not far from the post office, was Lenox Hill Hospital, a very famous hospital. I knew several doctors who worked there. It's a grade A hospital. There is no question in my mind that anybody that was ill that went to Lenox Hill Hospital got great treatment. So I was disturbed this morning when I read this article about the Lenox Hill emergency room doctor who was fired for praising Hamas' attack on Israel. Now when you look at the history of this young lady, you can understand why she would be sympathetic to the Gazans, to Hamas. But she said some things online as usual, and her comments were sympathetic to Hamas's October 7th mass slaughter of Israeli citizens. She said Zionist settlers are getting a taste of their own medicine. Now that's what this young doctor, Dr. Diana Diab, who's a 2016 graduate of the Wild Cornell Medical College in Qatar. I didn't even know that Wild Cornell would have a medical institution in Qatar. But that's where she graduated from. And she posted this thing along with a video of the terrorists raiding the musical festival and killing at least 260 people. And the message when it came out was quickly brought to the attention of Northwell Health. And it said Monday. The hospital group said Monday it would investigate and take immediate action. And on Tuesday at 7.30 a.m., they made good on their promise. They fired Dr. Diab, unceremoniously fired, made a statement, we're sorry for the hurt and the offense these comments have caused. They wrote on social media. These views do not represent Lenox Hospital. They do not represent Northwell Health. And they go against our core value. This team member is no longer employed with Northwell. And that I appreciate. Quick action. No fiddle battling around. No worrying about what people are going to say or whether or not there's going to be a lawsuit or something. Action, action. And the Stop Anti-Semite social media page, which initially posted the screenshots of the doctor's message, praised Northwell Health for addressing the situation in a swift and decisive manner. And I too will praise them for swift and decisive decision. But so many times people do terrible wrong. They commit terribly wrong things and they, their superiors diddle-daddle around with it and don't get anything done about it. So the web MD page was seized upon by critics who gave her one star rating and left reviews like they would not want an anti-Semite working on me. I would not want an anti-Semite working on me. So there are many people who consider anti-Semitism evil, and I am one of them. And the doctor praised the murder of babies, babies with their heads cut off. That's what another person wrote. Do you want this person as your doctor? I do not. Those are the kinds of remarks that came out when people learned of the action that Northwell held. And this firing comes on the same day that a Gaza City hospital was destroyed in a blast that killed 500 people. And Hamas blamed that on an airstrike, an Israeli airstrike. But the Israeli Defense Forces said the hospital was hit by a rocket that was misfired by Hamas terrorists. 
And I tend to believe the Israeli part of this story. So here we sit with 4,000 people having been killed in the fighting between Israel and Hamas. And it's now reaching to its second week. And a terrible story like this of a doctor who just couldn't keep her mouth shut and gets fired. If she was smart, she had a scintilla of brain. She would have kept her ideas to herself. I am sure there are many people out there who are anti-Semites, but they don't broadcast that they are afraid to lose their job. They know that being an anti-Semite is evil, and they continue to do it because they believe in some of that. But they're smart enough to keep their mouth shut. But this young lady screwed up badly. And I would suspect this could very well be the end of her medical career in the United States. And in my mind, that would be just punishment. My next story here deals with a policeman. This is a Connecticut state trooper who was accused of misusing law enforcement database to allegedly spy on the woman he was dating. He was arrested by his own agency. Now, as I said before, sometimes authorities don't take quick action because this is not the first time that this state trooper has been in trouble. Because last summer there were complaints from two women that alleged that Campos was behaving criminally when they were being watched by him. And he readily admitted that he did these things to one of these women. He told her that he had been watching and that she had been driving a car that wasn't hers. And that's what Campo said to her when she visited him. And she was using a vehicle that she did not own. And he would tell her that he was going to run the license plate to ensure that it did not belong to another man. So investigators wrote in the affidavit that they were able to find a specific instance on June 25th, 2022. That's over a year ago when the woman rented the vehicle on the Toro app, which allows individuals to rent out their personal vehicles for a fee. I didn't even know that there was such a, an app, such a, a place where you could rent your own car for a fee. Anyhow, Campos checked the license plate information through his corporate database, the police database, and while the authorities admit that Campos was off duty at the time and but he did not have authorization to make the inquiry. But in any event, he went ahead and did it. So there's an, there's an action, an illegal action that is taken, but it wasn't acted on quick in comparison to what the hospital did to Dr. Diaz. So that's what we have running loose in our society. People do stupid or illegal activity, and nobody takes action against them fast. In my mind, the cop should have been suspended the first time around and warned about this, about his actions. But of course, that's not the way it went down. So I leave you with that this morning. Have a great day. Bye.